Yeah, let's talk about cybersecurity for employees to safeguard your business. Well, businesses should be aware of the common cybersecurity vulnerabilities, and this is what we're going to talk about in this video. And we'll mainly cover protection for your business as it relates to cybersecurity. And productivity can be greatly affected by viruses that can slow down the computers to a crawl and make working practically impossible. And in reality, there's about five specific steps that companies need to follow to protect against cyber attacks. Secure your hardware. Encrypt and back up all your data. Encourage your security and have a security-centered culture. Have a robust firewall and anti-malware software. And invest in cybersecurity insurance. And the first way is to provide extensive and frequent training to promote awareness of security issues. So anything from a straight comment on Facebook to using the same password for a personal professional account to downloading an app on a personal device can provide access to the criminals and breach the security. And phishing attacks are the biggest and the most damaging and most widespread threatening small businesses and as well as big ones. And phishing accounts for about 90% of most of the breaches of organizations and they account for about $12 billion in losses. And one of the biggest reasons for employees being a security risk is that they're not aware of what they should be doing and what they shouldn't be doing. They should be aware of the device being connected to the Wi-Fi and they shouldn't be storing customer details on the USB. And information security is largely threatened by employees that are behaving in an untrustworthy manner. And they are the closest to the organization's data and they pose the greatest threat which they will be able to exploit in their assigned roles. Problems start with things like legacy softwares, default configuration, lack of encryption, remote access policies, you know, backdoor access, gaps in the policies and the procedures, lack of the network segmentation, unpatched security weaknesses, unprotected web applications. The password must be strong and keep the company's employees informed about how they can spot suspicious communication and monitor the latest threats, shutting them down before they can cause damage to the business. So educate the employees on, on common threats because this is imperative in order to successfully fight against malicious intent. And additionally, a comprehensive cybersecurity training program not only lowers the risk for security threats and it helps the IT department to avoid cybersecurity breaches and empower your employees to recognize common cyber threats. Because security awareness training teaches the employees to understand the vulnerabilities and the threats of business operations. Take up training modules such as this one to make sure that the employees understand the challenges and know how to deal with any problems that crop up and will help the employees to track these issues before they surface and stay protected while connected. So only connect to the internet over secure password protected networks. Avoid the free internet that has no encryption. And that's if you do use a public access point and avoid sensitive activities that require like passwords and credit cards. And trained specialists are needed to, you know, monitor the networks, you know, training the employees, creating the business continuity plans because the company should offer cybersecurity help and device ways to protect against the attacks. Your passwords should be strong, like seven to 10 characters or more. You know, use a combination of letters, symbols, and numbers. Make use of the uppercase and lowercase letters and use a respective password management tool as well. And without you pushing the employees to learn, they'll get too comfortable doing these things and allow things that will threaten the network. And if you give your employees knowledge and education, they will keep your company and they work safe. And as far as it comes to your business and the employees, they need to have the skills and knowledge to understand the impact that this can have on the business and know how to detect these cyber attacks and the best way to avoid such risks. And the awareness training will minimize, you know, and prevent the loss of IPs, money, brand reputation. It addresses the cybersecurity mistakes that are made when people you know using email or using the web or in the physical world and cybersecurity professionals will build test analyze systems to keep the data safe you have to educate the employees on all types of phishing and cyber scams so that they'll know when they get an email that looks outside the ordinary 
they'll know to verify who's sending the email. So any training that you can provide will put your employees in a better position to prevent the attacks. And even a modest investment in, in security awareness has a, at least a 72% chance of significantly reducing the business impact of cyber attacks. You have to go all out when it comes to personal data. And the safeguards are all kinds of measures that things that support the fulfillment of requirements of achievable ob objectives related to the cybersecurity. And cybersecurity professionals are trained to find weaknesses in databases, networks, hardware, firewalls, and encryption. And the number one priority of a cybersecurity professional is to prevent attacks by fixing potential issues before they actually exploited by malicious users. It's important as well during and after the development of softwares and the setup of the network. A hard strategy is to let the employees know that a data breach could mean the loss of their job because this could give them a, an incentive to become more secure and take care of security and impress on employees the warning signs of cyber attacks so that they can more easily spot suspicious activities. Another thing is download applications only from trusted sources and keep your application and operating systems, you know, whether it's your Mac, Windows, make sure they have the latest system updates. So turn on automatic updates just to prevent the potential attacks on older software and make regular backups of all your important data and store it in a different location. I mean, we've seen the future in technology. There's no going back. The average person is spending like 5.4 hours per day on the phone. And most of the cybersecurity threats is all mainly human error. And if your employees are familiar with cybersecurity principles and understand their role in keeping their business secure, there's far less likelihood that the cyber attack will take place. And ransomware attacks work by gaining access to your computer or your device and then locking and encrypting the data that's stored on it. So you have to be careful out there. It's like the Wild West. And thank you for listening so far. Please like, comment, rate and subscribe. Smash that like button. My name is Ian Hillman and see you in the next video.